What's up runners? Welcome back to Run 50 States My Way. It's Ashley and one of my absolute BFFs, Teresa, also known as Mama T. So for those of you who watched the Carmel Marathon, you'll know that I had to run 6.3 miles during that 10K because of this woman right here. It was her birthday. Um, no, she does not look her age and we love her for it. I wanna be just like her when I grow up. She is rocking out the 10K with me today while our husbands are doing the marathon. Mama T has already completed the Provo half marathon two years ago and she did a negative split. So we're hoping for that same energy and vibe on the 10K today. So with this race, it's a little bit different. Um, you're bused to the location. So for the marathon, you were bused 26.2 miles up the mountain and you run to the finish. For the 10K, same thing. We were bused six miles away and that's where we are. I have no idea where we are. We're somewhere that is 6.2 miles away from the finish and people are starting to show up. They're starting to get the sign, um, the arch up for the start of the race. We've got porta potties. Over there we've got some noon, which if you watched the 5K from last night, you know that I don't like it, but sometimes you have to suck it up when it's hot out for electrolytes. Right now it is 6.30 in the morning. We had to be on our bus at about 5.30. The guys had to be on their bus no later than 4.15. So we're tired, we're a little sleep deprived, and um, we're a little sore, not gonna lie. My ankle yesterday after doing a hike is a little twingy. So we're gonna see how we do this. It doesn't matter because we're gonna rock it and we're gonna have fun because this is state number 10. So stay tuned for an awesome event, an awesome race. And here we are with Run 50 States My Way at Provo Utah Valley Marathon. All right, ready? And start. So the 10K had to go north to go south. But again, I can't keep uh, saying it enough. Majestic mountains, majestic view. And down there is where we do our switchback. And it's five miles, basically, going straight in one direction until we hit the finish line. So we're coming up to it. We're going downhill right now. Mama T and I both have asthma. And I gotta tell you, when they talk about altitude difference, you really can feel it here in Utah. We're not quite a mile in and we've already used our inhalers. We're adjusting our pace slightly because you can definitely feel you get winded a lot quicker. So the name or the slogan of this race is pain you enjoy. And we both agree that it should be pain you may enjoy <laughs> because <laughs> Woo! But we're doing it. And so far, we're hanging in there and we're having fun doing it. And that's all that matters. We just passed our first water stop and intercepted the half marathon runners. So at that water stop, which, sorry, no video, it was just too congested. They had noom, bananas, and orange slices along with water. And again, that was mile eight for the, like, main runners I guess <laughs> um, but for us it was mile one so and we're off so we are coming into what should be mile two and the 22 mile mark for the full but I'm still showing a little bit of time to go so it looks like the race might be a little bit mismarked mismarked but that's okay ahead I don't know if you can see him on the video our three hot air balloons silhouetted on the mountains. It looks like a painting, it's so beautiful. We are at mile 2.8. And this is our water stop. Thank you. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. Good job. You got this. Okay. First race that I've ever seen a popsicle stop. I officially named the Utah Valley Marathon the best marathon I've run so far. Except I'm not running a marathon. I'm running a 10K. But still, this race starts so early because it's really hot. The sun is up. And we just hit, well, almost again. It's a little bit off, but we just got a popsicle. We're gonna walk through this run so that I can eat it. And we're just about to the 5K, which is what that sign said. We're doing great, we're staying strong, but it's getting hot. It's significantly slowed down. We are at mile four. Um, again, it's getting hot, but my ankle's been holding up really well. And now it's starting to get a little twingy. So I'm listening to my ankle and we switched our one minute run, one minute walk to a 30 second run, one 30 minute walk. The key to these races is you have to listen to your body and you have to have fun. What you might plan to do is not always what happens. So that was definitely our slowest mile at a 14.55, but we're still doing strong and we're still doing great. Two more miles to go and then we get our bling. So for those of you who saw the 5K, you know, I went through like 50,000 sprinklers last night. Utah Valley officially with popsicles and now a spritzing. This is awesome. I love this race. Oh, that <laughs> was amazingly refreshing. Thank you, race director, for understanding the importance of a nice cool burst of water. Thank you, Zion Bank. Finish strong. We are coming in to the finish. We can see it. We're walking just a little bit. We had a little bit of a fall, but Mama T is up and back. She's not scraped. And most importantly, she's okay. So we're gonna run again in a little bit and Home stretch. Here we go. Into the finish. Finishing strong. Great crowd support. Go, T, go. This is the running playlist right here. The Brad is all about getting to that finish line. Style and race. Matt, Malia Evans, Teresa Chernon out of Westerville, Ohio. Woohoo! And here we are! 10K! And, uh, Brent Johnson, Ammon, State number 10! We did it! What's up, everybody? This is Ashley. We've officially finished our 10K. Mama T fell. She bounced back. The best part about everything, my ankle was sore, the course was hot, but here's the best thing. We got an Airbnb about two blocks from the finish. So while our husbands are finishing the full marathon, we got to go back and shower put on some makeup, do some post-run stretches, get some extra water, um, which was just the best decision we could have possibly made. Um, now we are sitting about that two blocks from the finish, waiting for the husbands to run by. So a couple things about the finish area. It was a little bit congested because we had the 5K, the 10K, and the halves really all finishing at the same time. So um, everybody coming through just made it for a lot of people. They had a lot of really great things at the finish. They had popsicles, they had Jamba Juice smoothies, they had chocolate milk. Um, there were little power bars. Um, nothing that was too heavy on salt, like no potato chips or granola bars or things like that. But they had the oranges and the bananas and the noon. So um, definitely this race recognizes the importance of electrolytes because of how hot it is. 
Um, the last time I looked, it is 948, and I think it's about 75, 80 degrees at this point. Um, Ryan's already texted. He was at um, mile 16 by Bridal Veil vale Falls at about 917 and said it's a brutal course. It was brutal for the 10K, so I give these guys a lot of heart. Best part about why we ran the 10 and, or well, I ran the 5K and the 10K, Ryan ran the 5K and the full is because pain you enjoy, check out the size of this bonus medal. Absolutely incredible. I've got the official rate shirt on, which is beautiful. It's a nice tech shirt. It says pain you enjoy on the back and here's my medal. So this was a great race, a great 10K. And now the wives are waiting for the husbands as the marathon runners start to head job, toward the finish. So this is Ashley. Stay tuned and we'll recap when we actually see our husbands.